Okay, hey, aviation enthusiasts, here we are getting ready. Uh, Mike and I, we're going to get ready to uh, make a, a breakfast trip to uh, Williston to the Piper Cub. I'm ready to go. We're, we're packing our information here on four flight. And we're getting ready to, uh, we're going to go ahead and try and shoot the approach if we can. And uh, Mike's going to obviously be in charge of that since he is an IFR pilot and I'm learning. Um, looking good today. Great weather. I'm um, sporting my uh, Lou Dix aviation shirt. You can see that, Louis. Uh, give me a note if you, uh, if you caught this. Um, we're going to get ready. Uh, we're all fueled up. Got to go sump. And we got some great new camera angles. Hopefully, if the camera stays in place, we got a tail camera today. So hopefully, we'll catch that perfect landing I'm going to make it in Williston today. We'll see you in the air. There, there, there. Fuel pump on. Flaps, caps, maps. Our engine page. Sanford Tower 33, Julia Tango holding short. Right. To Julia Tango, Sanford Tower, flighting them 050. Runway 90 right. Clear for takeoff. 9 right, clear for takeoff. Takeoff, uh, flying heading 050 for 3 Julia Tango. All right. All right, let's get my door. How's your door? I'm good. Yeah, my daughter. Missed that the other day. That happens. <laughs> I can see the light through the back there. Yeah, I got to slam mine. Okay, we're good to go. That was quick, huh? Yeah, we good. Okay, engine insert. Our, we'll our monitoring, and we're gonna go right foot down. Power. Feels off the floor. And we got wind straight down the runway. Looking good. I'm gonna pop her off the ground. There she goes. Again, it doesn't climb like a 22, but hey, still, <laughs> still fun. <laughs> She'll do it in a pinch, right? Yeah. Get that climb for the ground. I need to make that three, three, three. Please, you made it three, two, three. You're on tower. Now we're on Always helps when you turn on that noise cancel. Gate number ten, requesting to use taxiway away Charlie. You made it three, two, three. Charlie approved. Uh, Charlie approved. Uh, gate ten. I need to make that three, thirty, three. Please, made it three, thirty, three. Okay, we now have cast available. Now we're going to turn on course. Do you like Tango? Heading to 050, Tango Park. Okay, point to 050, over to Orlando. Appreciate you like Tango, thank you. I forgot to put Orlando in there. One, three, five, three. Get flipping. Yep. Yep, number 588. Radar service terminated. Squawk BFR frequency <laughs> change approved. <laughs> All right, frequency change approved. 588. Thanks. Hey. Our line approach 383. Julian Tango just off Stanford. Uh, Nyan. What's happening? November 383. Julian Tango or Amanda departure. Good morning. Identify resume on navigation to the north. One standard below 2,500. Okay, uh, we're on deck and uh, stay out of below 2,500 on BFR 3 Julian Tango. So go here, go up here, and we're going to go on deck. Go. Yeah. November 3, Julian Tango radar contact 3 miles northeast of Stanford. Alright, you can head on course. Sir, can you just turn about 10 degrees right? I've got the Legion Airbus I need to get descending. Um, it'll help get them down a little bit quicker. Okay, uh, 10 degrees right, McCree, Julia, Tango. Clear from 05 X-ray radar contact, and 7 miles south of Leesburg, leaving 4,000. November 2 Mike, X-ray, 2 Mike, Sierra, turn right, heading 270. Right turn, 270, 2 Mike, Sierra. 2 Mike, Sierra, contact, approach 12418. 24, 8, 24, 8, 24. 
That's about 10, right? Yep, I think you're good. As soon as we set it up. I know. Isn't it funny the way you, you know, you kind of have your, you know your tail. You know, when you're, talk, when you're talking back and forth. Look at the size of that solar array right here. Go back one, a little bit more left on that position. It's perfect for us. Okay, you want to, uh, you said you want me to go westbound, sir? You can go back on course, sir. With just a few more miles, that's all we needed. We got it. Perfect spot for okay. you. Okay, thank you, Trader. Julie, Tango, back on course. Let's go directly. Seven outside Orlando, Bronco, Orange, contact Dave. Right. I'm sorry, Jack. Go direct. Approach 118.6. Yeah. Okay, Dave, 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 Right. In just a few. Yep. It's turning. Yep. You're good. There it is. Cool. Back 90, that makes a difference, doesn't it? It's nice. 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90. I can't believe they don't have those. Uh, yeah, mine doesn't have it. Okay, let's go ahead and do our climb checklist. We are just bugging along here. Uh, and then uh, climb to 1,200. Nova Bravo, uh, okay. 9 out of the woods, climb and maintain 2,000. Cut it back to 75. Zero four traffic off the right, no factor, turn left, heading 180, clear visual approach, runway 9 or left. Left 180, clear visual approach, 9 left, traffic. I mean, any faster level. than 85 is diminishing returns. It doesn't go fast enough. You gain better fuel efficiency. Yeah. Way. I know where it wants to be. About nine. Boy, that's nice. Nine gallons an hour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm usually burning around an economy. 14. 14. Police 2104. Uh, District Medivac 9 Alpha Whiskey, turn right heading 190. 190, 9 Alpha Whiskey. 9 Alpha Whiskey, contact approach 119 or point four. Have a safe flight. 119.49 of first power. 2104, Stanford Towers, 120.3. Good day. I have my boost pump on too. It's running a little rough. Yeah. Good morning, Kona. Because I had my boost pump on. Yeah. 46 Orlando, Virtual Wind Off, number 3010. 3010, thanks. Feels better now. Yeah. I'm gonna approach it with your 595. I'll probably with you as you're ready to buy, sir. Yep, your 595, Orlando Bridge, bottom clear. Okay, external light checklist. I can turn it off. Oh, all right, why do I have the Orlando nav lights on? Morning, Riddle 479. Do you know Sanford can accommodate close traffic this morning? Okay. Uh, I think they can. Uh, all right, so. Uh, there's our map. We'll go here. You like to use this one, I guess, right? And I agree, because it's bigger. That's what I always do, yeah. Yeah. Orlando Concord. Plus, you, you have all of your um, your air traffic is coming in from Skywatch, and then you have your weather. Yeah. Yep, everything's right there. It's nice and clean. You can see the build-ups here. So we, we, we will go around the uh, the protected area, so we don't have anything to worry about there. Yep. Check it out. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Alright, number three, Juliet Tango radar service terminated the squawk VFR frequency change of route. Good day. <laughs> okay, squawk VFR 383 Juliet Tango, good day. Red all 479 radar contact position as reported. Proceed <laughs> Monroe. <laughs> that guy is having some serious fun. <laughs> and we've got it on tape. <laughs> we've got it on tape. Alright, here we go. The 4084 So. Today we're we're practicing with the Evan and with the Avidine. Practicing with the Avidine and uh, kind of setting up routes. Mike and I are kind of learning together here because he's got a Garmin. Uh, but we do have a Garmin here if we get stuck. So. Yeah, I could shoot the approach in the Garmin. Yeah, there you go. So we just flip it over to GPS2 when we hit the Garmin. So that'd be good. Good information anyway. Um, so 
If you're interested, you can fly back. On the way back. Sure. If you want to go ahead and try it. Sure. I figured this way you get to see it, get to know it, sure. and then you can take it going down. So a couple of things that are different when you're flying. Uh, I have an RF, I have our plan. First of all, you see how different the uh, the Integra looks. So you got that GPS indicator that's showing that we're going directly to Lisi, yep. right? Which is our first waypoint. And then we're going to turn north. I'm going to turn north, northwest toward Williston. Right. I'm going to change this over to to the on guard, right? This one, two, three, five. Yep. Uh, so that we don't get too much background noise. Anyway, we're going toward Apopka, and then we're going to take a right hand turn, and we're going to go up to. Um, Okay, you can see here. Yeah, you go to Ocala, and then Ocala, and then up to uh, Williston. Yeah. So right, let's increase the range. Up to Williston. There you go. Okay, and then there is our there's our Avidine programmed up. Here is our FMS, and we're gonna go. Flight plan. And again, I'm still learning this stuff, but there's our flight plan. So Lisi, OCF to Williston X60. So, we're going to give it a shot, program it up, and uh, we got some traffic here coming up. Coming over the lake. I see him. So basically, uh, if you need fuel, how the hell do we get through there? I guess we go through the fence, huh? Maybe we gotta go through the FBO, what do you think? Maybe the FBO is a Good flag there for my son, who's a uh, Marine. You see he's got a really good uh, decor over there. Looks good, huh? Okay, camera's on, lights, camera, action, caps, everything's available.
much runway as we can get. Yep. It's always good. Absolutely. A little bit of a right crosswind here. Yep. Correct for the crosswind. And there she goes. A little warmer. Yep, you can, you can feel it. You can feel it. Density altitude was 1,700 feet. Yeah. 70, yeah, absolutely. You can, you can definitely tell the difference. Okay. Up there, our standard rate climb out. Yeah, our climb performance is not as good. Kind of nice. It's climbing nice. <laughs> 